Otherwise, it'll make your profile dependent on the mod, and uh, that's not good. Do you own your own milkshakes? Yeah. I bought them from Costco, so yes, I own them. Best place to buy this game? Um, you should have got it in the Steam sale. That was probably the best offer. Or there's Gamers uh, Gate and places uh. like that. Get a Steam key though, because Steam updates it automatically. Delivery from James Thompson 10? What does James say? How do you throw a party? It's going to be a joke. <laughs> How do you throw a party in space? You plan it. Happy trucking. Oh, that's a groaner. That's straight out of a cracker. Well done, sir. Happy trucking to you. Thanks for your support. That's a proper cracker joke right there. I like this bridge. It's a railway bridge, isn't it? Crash your Renault. I know, but it's just dull. If you crash the Renault, it just says your Renault's damaged 50%. That's it. There's no damage to the Renault. It just says you've damaged it. It's a bit dull. Let's just accept that Twitch is being a bit funny today. It's been very twitchy, so if you are lagging, then there's not a lot you can do about it. But it's, I assure you, I have dropped 0.0, .0 packets up to Twitch, and I'm watching the stream back, and it's fine. So there's not a lot we can do about it, I'm afraid. I'm going to move over because they're going to... Yep, punt over into this lane any second. Can you tell us what buttons you mapped out for each thing? Um, I can do, but not in the stream. I'll probably go over that. Once I've got all the buttons finalised, I'll probably do a quick video about the G27 and just, you know, how I've managed to set the buttons up, in case anybody's thinking of getting one. But I want to make sure that I've got a good button layout first. I want to fine tune it. I already changed a few things from yesterday, so I'd rather do that before I, you know, tell people what I'm using. I want to be sure that's the right one. If that makes sense. I can't destroy the Renault. Stop saying that. You can't destroy things in this game. Nothing is destructible in this game. Oh look, there's about three, tr three or four trucks here. Majestic. Look at those shifts, beautiful. <laughs> Spoken like a true nerd. <laughs> Delivery from Elliot, Elliot Headley. Elliot says, Squirrel, are you going to make? more War Thunder videos. Keep up the good work. Um, I have answered that one already. Basically, if War Thunder are going to fix the economy, which I don't think they're going to do, because they just seem to be making it more and more pay to win. If they fix the economy so that it's not so ridiculously hard to, or ridiculously expensive, to purchase new planes and to qualify your skill, your crew skills, it's an absurd amount of money that you have to spend and it more or less makes it so that you have to buy eagles just to keep up and then you've got the whole ammunition thing going on and the backup planes which is a blatant money grab the backup planes is ridiculous and the one thing I never liked about War Thunder was the fact that if you take something like World of Tanks, a game starts with every player has one tank and one tank only and when that tank's destroyed that player's out of that game which means you've got a kind of fine out, you know, one shot kill going on. So, well, one death. You only live once, as it were. That's what I'm trying to say. In War Thunder, each player can just go in with a bunch of planes, and you don't know how many planes they've brought. There's no limit on it. And then, just to make matters worse, if they spent some eagles, they can have a backup plane. And the backup plane lets them take their favourite plane in 
again because they've spent real money. So they can have a fully kitted out Yak-90 or something and then just have a backup version of it. So when you shoot them down, they just come back in exactly the same plane. Which means you get these kind of battles that just run and run and run and run because some players have got loads of planes. And yes, you can argue if they get destroyed, it's going to cost them more money to fix it. Yep. But that's kind of what makes it pay to win. The more you pay, the more planes you can fly, the more stuff you can repair, the better stuff you can get, and the more you can slaughter other people who didn't play. And that's why I don't really like it. I can't see them fixing it though, so... Never say never, but I don't think so. Warplane, World of Warplanes. Have you seen that? I think John played that. It was horrendous. It was awful. I don't know if they've improved it since. This was a couple of months ago. Has anybody played World of Warplanes recently? Has it actually improved? Because it used to be... The, the performance in particular was terrible. Chat is struggling. Oh dear. I think it's going to rain, guys. I think it's about to rain. It's got that feel about it. It's alright now, is it? The performance is not so bad now. Hey, a French toll. That's what we need. We need to pay some more toll fees. I can play music. Um, you can put MP3s into a folder and play that. Or you can just turn the radio on in the game. But... I don't really want to play music because if I want to upload this to YouTube later, I'll be screwed. Because I can't play, can't put copyrighted music onto your YouTube videos. So what I suggest you do is turn your radio on and play your favourite music and just <laughs> listen to the stream that way. And that way you've got music and I don't get screwed on copyright. What is that smoke coming over? Is that a chimney over there? It looks like it. Can't work it out. I think I'm going to get in this lane. Before the AI does me. As it inevitably will. That is an awful coloured truck. That's like a matte... That's like a dirty matte gold colour. That truck. Didn't like it at all. Oh, so you've got a squirrel logo with the logo and text on it. I'd have to see it. Do you want to just send me a screenshot? Just tweet me a screenshot or something, I'll have a look at it. Because some people have done trailers, but, you know, to be fair, they've not been very good. Another... What, are you kidding me? Another tr another toll road. It was about a mile since the last one. Will you be doing the Iveco hay Highway soon? I don't know, if I get to an Iveco dealer then... Hopefully they've got it in stock. <laughs> and they'll let me buy one. And like, uh, more importantly, they'll actually give me some money for this Renault when I trade it in. I mean, I've only got eight trillion dollars, you've got to watch the, uh, the bottom line, you know? But if they turn around and say, I'm only going to give you a hundred quid for that Renault, I'll be a bit pissed off, because that'll be a big loss. I wouldn't blame him though, I would only give him a hundred quid for it. What patch? One point, the latest one, I run it on Steam so it's the very latest patch, 1.4.8 I believe is the latest patch. Oh, we've got a speed camera coming up. Yeah, French tolls are just a pain in the backside. 1.4.8 with TSM 3.5 is what I'm running. Have you ever driven a Yugo? No. I've never driven a Yugo. Wow, there's some skyscrapers over there. You see it? I thought we had another toll road coming up then, but thankfully it's just a fuel stop. That town looks very two-dimensional. Did you see that then? Did you actually see that? That building on the right was just a flat picture. The one on the very right there, it was flat. 
It's not even a proper building. It's a picture of a building slapped into the landscape. <laughs> what an absolute cheat. <laughs> I, I don't play X-Plane. I know a couple of guys at work who love X-Plane. Uh, they're really into it, but I'm not into flight sims these days. War Thunder was the first kind of flight-based game I've played in many, many years. Uh, and I played it because it was more fun, because you could shoot things down rather than just flying around in sims. Because, you know, unlike truck sims, where you're driving along the road here and there's things going on all the time, stuff to watch out for all the time, with a flight sim, when you've taken off, you're just flying through the atmosphere and there's just nothing else to do. You just look down occasionally and look at something 10,000 feet down, but it's just not that exciting at all. And then, the, you know, the next most important thing is making sure that you plan your route and then land it, but other than that... Hey, have you heard about uh, Train Simulator? So Train Simulator, I've got Train Sim 2012, is it? And later this year they've got another Train Simulator coming out. I might actually give it a go. I have played the I have played Train Simulator with a few purchase bits that I got on a Steam sale as well. I think I got Train Sim for about five ninety nine, and then I got um, some extra trains and stuff and destinations in the Steam sale. But I tell you, if you bought everything in Train Sim at full price, it would cost you hundreds of pounds. It's just ridiculous. That's just add-on city that game. It must be too, it must be Train Sim 2014. It's the new one that's coming out. There is a new one coming out. I know that later this year. I read it somewhere. So I'm guessing it's it's Train Sim 2014 then. I don't have any information at the moment on World Truck Simulator. But like I say, I have written to the guy who, who um, owns SCS. His name's Pavel. And I've asked him to come onto my live stream. So uh, if he comes on, we can chat about it with him. We can ask him questions. With the add-ons, it's thousands. I think it's the same thing with X-Plane as well. Like some of the models, because... But it's kind of fair enough with X-Plane, because some of the models for it are just ridiculously detailed. All the instrumentation and the physics is ridiculously detailed and it took somebody a long time to do. So, you know, that's why they try they charge like a hundred pounds for a a plane. <laughs> Another toll road. Yay! I'm reading the chat, that's one more two thousand euros. Holy crap! That is insane. Twenty-one euros paid. Wish you could watch the whole stream, but you have to go to work. That's cool. That's absolutely fine. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for popping in. I'm sorry, I can't read all the chat messages. Right, apparently a car just I had right of way, and a car drove into the side of my truck. And I got penalised for that. Can you believe this game? His lane was filtering into mine, and he drove into me. It was brilliant. But he didn't get fined. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm sorry I can't read all of the chat messages. They do scroll past quite a bit, and I am trying to drive. And it's not easy, I have to say, but... No, nope, I haven't tried the Oculus Rift. I answered that before. The Galaxy S4 is a good phone, but I don't like the plastic back. I don't like the plastic feel of the Galaxy S4. So I think the the HTC One Google Play Edition is going to be my next phone, if it's available in the UK at some point this year. Favourite truck is always the Scania. Yeah, I can only do so much. <laughs> you should try it. You should try this, seriously. I'm sat here playing a sim. With a driving wheel, a gear stick, pedals, track IR, a microphone in front of me. I'm looking to make sure the stream's okay. And I'm trying to read chat and trying to keep you guys entertained. Trust me, it's like, have you ever seen those guys in like Covent Garden in London? They stand there and they've got a drum on the back and they've got feet with strings attached to the pedals. And they're basically a one-man band with, a, with a, a mouth organ and they're singing. And, you know, I'm like that. that. That's what it feels like I'm doing for two hours. <laughs> just trying to play this game. Just Cause 2 I've heard of, I've not played. 
Will you tell us what happened at work? Yeah, I could do. Will you do vids on train sim? I might do it on the new one, but I'd have to try it and see what people thought. I need to work out how I could make train simulator videos entertaining. I don't want to just put out videos for video's sake. Wow, look at this. That's the Spanish border. So that's all decommissioned now because obviously the European Union got got rid of these borders. But in the past, that's you'd have to stop there and get the passport out. Um, I don't know if I could make train simulator videos entertaining. That's the thing. That's the key to it. I want to make my videos entertaining. So if I can work out how to do that, then I will. Because after all, it's just more big machinery in a simulator, and I like that kind of thing. So, my job... Uh, I'm hauling a, four, a, a digger, by the way. Nine-ton digger. My job situation, which some people want to know about. Basically, um, I work in the centre of London, and it's taken me a couple of years to build up a team. A team of guys that I can trust to get the job done. And... You know, I, I head up the, the development of a project. And it's taken a few years to get there. And the team are, you know, we work well together. And we're based in West London, in the middle of London, and it's all cool. And then we suddenly got this, this email through, which basically said, <clears throat> your team is being moved out to West London. What? I said. Yeah, you're being moved out to West London in three weeks. Really? Has anybody bothered to discuss this with me? You know, even ask, even do a risk assessment to determine if people would just leave on my team. None of that's been done. And what's worse is we work with the business and the business will be staying where they are and the, and the tech team will be going out to West London. Now, what that means for me is an extra 40 minutes commute on top of my every single day, on top of my current journey, which is just over an hour. So you're talking like two and a half hours commute every day for no extra money. And what's worse is like half of my team, well, at least half of my team would leave, which means it just shatters my whole development team. So I got really, really angry, really annoyed. I was really pissed off. And I sent an email around to a whole lot of senior managers at the place where I work and just told them what would happen and then I put my CV on a job site and 40 minutes after I put my CV on a job site the phone my mobile phone just didn't stop ringing with like people like jobs that I could do and then I started having telephone interviews and stuff and more phone calls came in and more emails came in while I was just going on anyway this job came in because I didn't the first thing that the the first thing that they say to you, the agency say to you is, oh, what is it that you want to do? And I said, I actually don't know. It's been a few years since I've been to the job market. I just suddenly found myself in the situation where I want a new job. So I don't actually know what I want to do. I just want to see what's out there now. And this job came in, which is 20 minutes up the road from where I live. So it would be a 20 minute drive and I wouldn't have to go into London at all. And there's basically like 42 people working at the company and it's been growing rapidly. So I had an interview with one of the directors and he talked me through what the company's doing and basically said that they would train me up to use this new platform, if you've ever heard of the Salesforce platform. And uh, they'd train me up on that, get me certified on that and then I would be a consultant. So I'd go out to businesses, design solutions, develop the solutions and then, you know, deliver it to the business so it sounded really good it sounded exactly what I wanted to do but he said to me you know I really like you but you need to see the other director so I came in and I had another interview with the other director and I was chatting to him for like two hours so I could tell he must have liked me and then a couple of days after that I basically got a phone call from the agent saying they've made you a job offer I was like, cool, so what's the job offer? And I was thinking, you know, worst case scenario, they're going to offer me a bit less money than I'm on because, you know, I'm not in London and that kind of thing because jobs pay more in London because it's expensive to get into London. But they didn't. They actually offered me more money. They actually offered me more money than I'm on 
and then when I get the certifications, they'll pay me more money again. I was like, wow. So let me get this straight. You're going to train me, certify me, pay me more money than I'm on, and the job's 20 minutes to drive up the road, which means I can get back home quicker. Where do I sign? <laughs> so that was it. I just resigned from my job. But I didn't make videos for about a week because I was really stressed out about it. And I had to go for interviews and I was really... I was in a bad place, basically. But it all came through for me in the end and I signed up for a great job. So I'm actually finishing my current job a week on Friday. I've got some leaving drinks planned and I finished that a week on Friday. Then I have a week off and then I start my new job on the 27th of August. So everything worked out. So that's the story of my job and what happened over the last couple of weeks. It was dark times for a while, but it, uh, it all became good. But yeah, thank you for your support, guys. I can see you saying congratulations. Uh, thanks for the support. And um, I can continue to make videos and stream. And I'll be a much happier person because I'll be in a job where they actually want me to be. Rather than a job where they're just, you know, shattering my team. I just had enough, basically. Anyway, let's get off here. How far are we? 496k, guys. Not too far now. I think it's about time we started to look for a place to rest, though. Because it is getting a bit dark. Let's keep those revs going, shall we? Bit of a hill start coming up. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. I'm just going to go into neutral and put the parking brake on because... Oh, we could be here for a little bit of time. Actually, no. Surprisingly enough, the AI managed to shove through quite quickly. I'm very surprised by that. Need to find a rest stop, though. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for your support, by the way, guys. I'm driving a Renault. Yeah, I know. This is probably the one and only time you're going to see me drive a Renault. Because now I've done it, I don't feel obliged to have to do it again. And besides, I really don't think you'll want me to drive a Renault. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing another job in a few weeks. Um, the gear changes. So... The way I've got it set up is so that I go through even numbered gears because there's that much torque in a truck you don't need to go sequentially through the gearbox as I found out and lots of truckers commented on my videos and told me so I've got a shifter which if I go through shifter it puts it back into odd numbers gears but generally speaking I can start in second gear no problem I could probably even start in fourth gear if I'm honest but driving a truck is so different to driving a car the gearing is different the torque is just so different. And I need to get past this dude, don't I? Let's see if we can get past this guy. You see he's driving just a bit slowly for my liking. Successful overtaking manoeuvre. I bet you were thinking I was going to crash then. There we go. 459 kilometers. We need to find a rest point, though. I doubt we're going to find one down this road. I should probably have done it on the motorway, to be honest. Can you please make as a? Can you please make YouTube your job? <laughs> That's what I want to get. If you read my um, text below, you'll see where it says send a delivery. Um, when people send me support, I send send stuff through. I'm basically keeping that. Um, I'm buying keys with it and buying better equipment, but mostly I'm trying to save up so that I could do this full time at some point. But I'll get there. I'll get there in the end, I think. Delivery from the Rusty Nickel. This guy supports me a lot, actually. What's the message? It's going to be a pizza joke. Mmm, bacon sandwich. Fuck. You little bastard. <laughs> How dare you say that? If you're eating a bacon sandwich, I will kill you. Because I'm getting hungry now and I want a bacon sandwich. How dare you say that to me? 
Thank you for your support. And I hope you enjoy your bacon sandwich. And I need to put my lights on. Oh, my stomach's groaning. What have you done to me? Renault, squirrel, what happened? I know, look at it. Oh, we're actually seeing the dashboard at night now. Look, it's red. What is this guy doing? Come on. I'm having to stay in 10th down here. Great stream, always your favourite. Well, I'm glad to entertain. It's nice talking to you guys, actually. That's what I like about streaming versus YouTubing, is I get to kind of interact and talk with you and we have a laugh. That's very different to YouTubing, because a YouTubing you just kind of... You're talking, but you're talking to nobody. You know they're going to listen, but when you're making it, you're not talking to anybody at all. It's kind of weird. Whereas I know I can say something now and you'll hear it in a few seconds. What website did you upload your CV to? <laughs> Do you know what? You, I can't believe you've asked that question. There's a funny story about that. I know why you've asked it. Because... This is, this is the funny thing. Let's do this delivery first. Delivery from Nemesis302. And Nemesis says... There we go. Two fish are in a tank. We've got a joke, people. Two fish are in a tank. One says to the other, Do you know how to drive this thing? Also, pizza. Oh, a tank. I got you. I get it. Also, pizza. Very good. Thank you for your support. That was a, that was a proper joke. Um, oh, shit. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yes. The job site. <laughs> Right, so... Oh, wipers as well. Oh, not that. Wipers are on that one. Um, so, yeah, when I resigned, and I told my boss about the what happened with the agencies phoning me up, the day late, a day later, I, f I spoke to my boss, and he said to me, so what website did you upload your CV to? And I, just, <laughs> I, just, I knew exactly why he was asking. I just laughed out of the way. Oh, I got left turn. Delivery from... Sidehog, is that how you say that name? There are UFOs on the TSM. I know, I've not seen one yet. On the TSM, what did I just do? UFOs on the TSM 2.2. I think they're on 3.5 somewhere, I'm not sure. So yeah, my boss asked me for the, the website where I uploaded my CV. And then... The guy I told at work who works for the business, I told him and he asked me where he uploaded it. And then I told this other guy in the business and he asked me. And then a project manager and then he asked me. And then some of the guys on my team, they asked me when I finally told them. Is that everybody wanted to know where I'd uploaded my uh, CV because I got such a response. It's hilarious. Anyway, I uploaded it to cwjobs.co.uk. That's where I put it. And since then, I've had to make it not searchable because otherwise I keep getting phone calls. Pizza with pineapple and bacon sandwich. I, oh, pineapple, ham and bacon. I actually don't like bacon on pizza. I find it makes it a little bit too greasy. Pepperoni on pizza, no, that I like. If only UFO I have saw in that Renault you're driving. I doubt I'm going to see a UFO in this Renault, but it would be kind of cool. Well, the weather's gone properly crap. And so is the driving. What's going on here? Hello? What's going on here, then? Just turned into rush hour. Do you think ETS will work with a MacBook Air? It only works on a PC, and I doubt it would have the performance to run on a. Um, if you boot Windows onto it, I don't. Th I don't know. It depends on your graphics card more than anything. Right, this is insane. What the hell is going on? What was that all about? Why did they go so slowly through there? Do you accept bacon sandwiches so I can make a delivery 
instead of money. <laughs> Until somebody invents a way of you sending me a bacon sandwich through the internet, then I'm a, sadly you can't do it. I've got to get past this truck, this is insane. How do you get the TSM 3.5? Thanks to your friends at Modsaholic, you can go to my YouTube channel and look at the last four videos which are my stream from yesterday and in that video uh, is a description uh. with a link to TSM 3.5 Mods are a delivery from Anonymous you should put your name in otherwise I can't change your chat colour look at that cup holder Renault rocks <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going, I've got to go, this is insane Thank you for your support, but please send me a Twitch um, name. Um, oh, shit balls. Thank you, Man Truck, for stopping. A delivery I didn't see you from, but it says, All good things come to those who wait. Happy trucking. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your support. Very kind. I'm sorry I missed your name, but I will get all the names at the end. I'll make sure your chat colours are changed. <laughs> 